the show, we learned about this hot new decor item, urchins, and now we're going to learn how to make one. Ashley Shear, the other co-owner of Makery Casey, is here to show us how. I'm so excited for this. Great. Thank you for having us. These are really expensive in the stores they right now. They can be. Yeah. Yes, they definitely can be. So when you DIY, that's the best part is you can kind of hack the price of it right. too. We picked up these um, bamboo skewers from Target for I think $2. Okay, so these are like kitchen skewers. Exactly, Okay. yep. And then these little foam um, half balls, mm -hmm. you can pick up at any craft store and okay. they're about $2 for a whole bag of them. Oh really? Yes. Oh, it's cheap. We're gonna be doing the wall version of it. Okay. So it's flat on the back so that you can hang it on the wall or set it on the table. All right. But you can also buy the round balls if you want to do more of a... Oh, like a decorative... Spear. Yeah, yes. spear. Okay. So what I like to do is I start with a marker mm -hmm. and I just kind of find my center, which is pretty easy to do. Yeah. And then you're just going to work you at this point, right? You got it now. <laughs> <laughs> you're just going to work in lines down to kind of make a cross. Okay. So this part, you know, you could just eyeball it. If I was going to say, is it just kind of guesswork? Yeah. At this point? Okay. I mean, if you're more meticulous, you could definitely, you know, measure ruler it out. Ooh, but that sounds terrible. Who has time for that, right? <laughs> yeah. So. <laughs> So you just kind of start drawing through it. And then you're gonna take the skewers with mm -hmm. the pointy side yep. and just stick it in there. And this part might take a little bit of elbow power. You don't wanna break the wood as and you're going. How far down do you go? Like how far do you stick it in? Um, I put about five on this side. So just almost down to the very base because you don't want it to poke through the bottom side. Okay. So I'm about like Ooh. maybe Oh, about a half an inch or less from the bottom there. Okay. And do you want them all the same height or does it not matter? Yeah, I mean, they'll kind of all push through about as far as they can from that point. It's okay. kind of angled. So you can only get it in there about so far. So you don't have to worry about pushing it all the way through. Oh, okay. Unless you're just super strong and <laughs> <laughs> you got a lot of yeah, elbow that's grease not a problem it. over here. <laughs> okay, so just keep poking. And then could you always add some if you feel like it's a little yeah. empty? Yeah, yep. There's really not a super strict pattern to this. Okay. I just kind of start going with it and I work down one side and I go through the other side. Okay. And this is one of those beautiful projects where you could be sitting in front of like your binge watching Netflix shows, say, yeah. drink a little wine, mm -hmm. whatever you want to do to kind of, you know, keep Pass yourself the busy with it. <laughs> exactly. That's why we love our workshops because you can get your girlfriends together and just everybody can talk and make and yeah, I love that. Okay, so once we get these all in, what happens after that? So as you get it all the way full, um, you can kind of go through and see if there's any little missing places that you want to stick it in just to make it as full as you like. Okay. And then what gives it the metallic finish is using um, a metallic spray paint. paint. Oh, I love spray paint. Yes, which you want to make sure <laughs> it fixes everything. It's like the simplest go-to DIY project. But when you're working with metallic spray, you want to make sure you wear a mask because okay. they can be harmful fumes. Okay. Um, but you can really do just about any color with this. You could do a silver, you could do a white. Brighter Ooh. colors for okay. a kid's room. Um, and then, okay, so you said this one you can hang on the wall. How do you actually get this on the wall? So we use 3M strips and you just peel off the backing, stick it onto the back, okay. the flat side of the little thing there. Of your little urchin. And then you're just going to stick it up on the wall. That is so easy. Yes. Okay, and talk about what this actually does for your room or wherever you decide to put right. it. Right, it's just such a great way to bring some dimensional space. So it can kind of overlap other art on your walls or it can just be like a good statement piece too if you have a big blank wall and you're not quite sure what to do with it yet. It's the great piece to kind of fill up that space. I love it, and you can say, I made that. Exactly, exactly. And it's so on trend that when you're bored with it, it's a cheap DIY that you can right. just flip out and put the next project Instead of up. the $90 one that right. you could buy at right. West Elm right now. Ashley, I love yes. this idea. Thank you so much yes, for being thank here you for today. Us. All right, Christine.